Whoa, where am I? Wh what is this thing I'm hooked up to? Ew, who's that? Hello, Orange. I want to play a game. A game? Okay, let's play Go Fish. What? No. How about shoots and ladders? No, you don't get to pick the game. Why not? That's not how this works. Why? Because, no, just listen. Why? Because I said so. Okay, geez, who crapped in your cornflakes? <sighs> All right, now, Orange. So far, you've made a living annoying people. Society would call you a nuisance. I would call you an abomination. Yeah, and I'd call you Clownface. <laughs> what? You look like somebody smeared mashed potatoes on a mime. <laughs> That's enough. You're kind of emo, aren't you? No, I'm not emo. You're an emo clown. <laughs> uh, listen, the device you were attached to was a death trap. It's hooked up to a timer. If you do not locate the key in time, you will You mean this key right here? What the? Where did you get that? I don't know. That's just great. You're totally ruining the game. Your game sucks. Let's play Yahtzee. I hate Yahtzee. Jenga? No. You like backgammon? Oh my god, you're annoying. Oh, I can't take it. That's it. I'm moving on to Eggplant. Whoa, it's Barney. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm not Barney. Hello, Eggplant. Hey, hey, Barney. Can I teach you a song? No. Hey, I'm not Barney. Dude, is this part of the torture or what? Look, this is not how this usually happens. I'm an orange, that's a key. There's an emo clown on TV. <laughs> Do I look like a giant purple dinosaur? I'm an eggplant. You look like a potato with bad circulation. <laughs> that's, I swear to God, I'm so done with this crap. Why did I think this was a good idea? Oh. Hey, hey, I'm an orange, you're not me. Jigsaw has to take a pee. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, potato. What? Death trap. Huh? Aw, oh, poor potato. He never saw that one coming. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Okay, so the squirrel's looking at me and he says, Nuts? <laughs> Buddy, you're insane! You're insane! <laughs> no, true story, true story. But, um, that's, that's not why we're here tonight. You guys hear about this video? It's, uh, pretty scary stuff. Wait, is that the one where the guy sniffs Gorilla Glue? No, 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 it's, it's the one where the girl kills all those eggs. No, 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 it's the one where the guy does taxes with his cat, right? No. No, this is a different kind of video, okay? You watch this video, and then you get a phone call from a guy, and there's a voice on the other end, and he tells you something. And then, seven days later, something bad happens to you. Whoa! So, you guys wanna watch it? <laughs> yeah! Hungry. Hey, it's seafood. La 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 la. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Seven days. <laughs> what, what, what happens in seven days? You're an onion ring. <laughs> Who was that? What did they say? I think you just called me an onion ring. Yeah. And then the squirrel says, Nuts? Buddy, you are insane! Yeah! Oh. Oh, God. I love that joke. Dude, seriously? You know what time it is, right? Ooh. 
Time for a, uh, another video? It's been exactly seven days. Exactly. Don't you remember the phone call? Oh, yeah. Ah. I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> Not a big thing. Oh my god! Guys, easy. It's just my dog, Big Poppy. Uh, Bobby, why is your dog eating an onion? Because I'm out of cantaloupe. This guy's serious. What was that? Alright, we just got the remote. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't mind if I drop in, do ya? <laughs> hey! Hey, onion rings! Hey! Hey, onion rings! Hey! Onion rings! Hey! Hey, onion rings! What? what? Which one of you is the ringleader? <laughs> You're not laughing. Well, this sucks. Hey, Orange, why don't you just stop saying stupid puns and change us back? Because I like having you around. <laughs> hey, hey, onion rings. What? Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> Are Whoa, this isn't the kitchen. What's going on? Hello, Orange. Hey, I know that voice. I was hoping you and I could Play another game. Yay! It's Emo Clown! Hey, are we gonna play Twister? That's my favorite game. No, Orange. The name of this game is Death Trap. Cool! What kind of Death Trap? I'm glad you asked. Is it a waterbed filled with piranhas? No! Killer bees in a pinata? No, that one never works. Oh, is it a drunk guinea pig with a chainsaw? What? A drunk guinea pig with a chainsaw! Die, you bloody pig! Ha ha ha! No! How did that even get in here? Well, what is it? Oh, Orange, don't you see? The death trap is you. But I'm not a death trap, I'm an orange. No one has ever escaped me, except for you. That's why I have chosen you to become my apprentice. Apprentice? What are you, Donald Trump? <laughs> no, today you will help me by annoying my victim to death. What are you talking about? Whoa, where am I? Whoa! Hello, Marshmallow. Want to play a game? Oh yes, I love games. Everyone loves games. And I love everyone. Yay! Yes. All right, Orange. Your time to annoy him to death has come. Now, begin. Miss. No. Begin. Nope. My turn. B2. What? B3? No. B5. Hey, you sunk my battleship. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, hey, Fluffy Face. You look like a mini pillow. <laughs> yeah, well, you sound like a chipmunk riding a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I do. <laughs> Everybody shut up. Jeez, who cut off Jigsaw's funny bone? <laughs> no, don't annoy me. Annoy him. I'm an orange, you're a mime. Jigsaw's so boring, it's a crime. <laughs> That's it. I see my apprentice requires further training. Let this be a lesson for both of you. Oh, no, not squeaky fun guy. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> hey, the Donald's gonna take another stab at it. <laughs> Come on, you stupid thing. <laughs> I knew it. I knew this wouldn't work. Ugh. Orange, you're fired. Whoa, you really are the Donald. <laughs> you, Marshmallow, you're roasted. Marshmallow, you're a real hothead now. <laughs> stop laughing. Whoa, you really lit a fire under me. <laughs> hey, hey, stop it, Donald. I don't think he can take any s'more. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. Can't take it anymore. I need to get a new job. Hey, where's Jigsaw going? We were just getting warmed up. <laughs> well, thank goodness they scared that guy away. I didn't like where this whole thing was headed. <laughs> Ah!
I'm a star. A great big shining star. go one day in this kitchen without something exploding. Hey, Mac! Yeah, it's pretty great, isn't it? Uh, fear not, friends. We are safe now that the robots have destroyed themselves. Perhaps I can finally put away this disguise. Whoa! Whoa! Behold, it is I, the Relish. <laughs> Whoa! What's up, dudes? I'm looking for the Relish. You seen him anywhere? Well, if it isn't Orange Potter. Well, 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 if it isn't Snape Fruit. <laughs> I see you brought along your meddlesome cohorts, Pear Weasley and Passiony Granger. Meddlesome? Cohorts? Hey, hey, Professor Snape Fruit. What? You're an apple. <laughs> I most certainly am not an apple. Yaha, uh -huh. apple cadabra. 
Hey, snake fruit, are you embarrassed? Because you're looking a little red. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of your games, Orange Potter. The fruit that must not be named wants to have a word with you. The fruit that must not be named? You mean moldy warts? Dude. Orange. It is madness to speak that name. Okay. I guess I'll just have to sing it then. Moldy warts, moldy warts. He wears moldy undershorts. <laughs> Impressive, Orange Potter. Whoa, who's there? It is I, the fruit that must not be named. More like the fruit that has no nose. <laughs> uh, Orange? None of us have noses. Wait a second. Then how do we smell? Terrible. <laughs> My lord, I was just about to deliver these rep scallions to you. Hey, I'm not a scallion. I'm an orange. Silence! Yeah! Oh! Hey, that's not how you play Quidditch. And now, Orange Potter, you will meet your end. Don't worry, Orange. We're here to help. Yeah, you won't have to face Moldy Warts alone. As a matter of fact, he will. Jello Ramas! Oh, yeah! I hate it when they put fruit in jello. Now, Orange Potter, the day I have waited for. The day we finally see who is the greatest wizard fruit. Oh, is it Kiwi? What? No! Peach? This is not a guessing game. Gordy McGordalot? That's not even a fruit! Jeez, you don't have to be such an apple about it. No, I am not. Wait, how? How did you know I was an apple? Well, you do yell a lot. <laughs> Hello there, Orange Potter. Hey, Grandpa Lemondor, you're back. Actually, Orange, I'm still dead. Wait, if you're still dead and we're talking, that means... Ah! Calm down, you're not dead. Think of this as a brief stoppage of time to teach you a lesson, the most important lesson you'll ever learn in your entire life. Yay! Wait. What were you talking about now? Orange Potter, you must listen to me very, very closely. Now to defeat Lord Moldywarts and save your friends, you must simply... Grab a lemon door? Grab a lemon door! <sighs> now I'll never know how to defeat Moldywarts. Wait, what's that? Ooh! With Orange Potter gone, there is no one to stand in my... Stand? I don't even have legs! <laughs> what? Impossible! How did- Hey! Hey, Moldy Wards! Hey! What? What is it? Apple Cadabra! Well, you did it! You made me young and fresh again! Yeah! Grandpa Lemondor's letter said the key to defeating your enemies is being nice to them! Well, Grandpa Lemondor was a wise wizard fruit! Yeah! It said if you're nice to Moldy Wards, he'll never see it coming! See what coming? Knife! No! You did it, Orange! Look at me! I'm a real whiz kid! <laughs> uh, now that that's over with, who wants Jello? <laughs> <laughs> Veggies and gentle fruit, welcome to the 74th Annual Hungry Games. I'm your host, Claudius Cauliflower. What? You don't look like a flower. <laughs> I'm not a flower, I'm a cauliflower. Cauliflower? Is that what you're barking orders? <laughs> Enough! I'm here to present our trip fruits from the 12 districts of Pancake. We shall fight to the death in the glorious kitchen arena, for there can be only one victor. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Let the 74th Hungry Games begin! May the odds be ever in your flavor! <laughs> hey, that was my line! Let's see if any of our contestants have a fighting chance! <laughs> oh, and there goes Apple! Yeah. Truly a valiant end for Apple. Yeah, he really went out with a bang. <laughs> get it? Bang? Because <laughs> he exploded, get it? Would you please let me do my job? Aye, aye, Colonel. Ugh. Looks like Mel is trying to get to safety. Uh-oh, look out. Oh. Ooh, he should have worn a helmet to protect his melon. <laughs> please stop talking. Yes, please, for the love of fruit, be quiet. Whoa, who are you? The name is Sugar Cane. The glorious kitchen arena is my design, for I am the game maker. 
Game maker? I love games. What's your favorite? Mine's motorboating. Stop it. We'll all be dead if he hears you. If who hears us? The all-powerful President Snowball. Oh, President Snowball. Yes, the president of Pancake and creator of the Hungry Games. No, President Snowball. <gasps> Mr. President. You will not make a mockery of my games. Do you understand me? Absolutely. <laughs> Silence, you insolent orange. Jeez, I guess you really are cold-hearted. <laughs> Get it? Cold? <laughs> He's a snowball, get it? Show this orange an example of my power. Yes, sir. Finally, I'm safe. Oh. Whoa, strawberry got skewered. <laughs> you see, orange, I alone have the power to decide life and death. Oh, yeah? Well, can you spit seeds like this? <laughs> ah, no! Ah. Whoa, looks like sugarcane is in shock. <laughs> What have you done, you fool? Uh oh We're gonna make it, buddy. We're gonna make it. No! Whoa! Those two really got toasted. Whoa! This can't be happening. Told ya. They're a cut above the rest. <laughs> Ooh! And the Hungry Games continue to be a smashing success. <laughs> a am I? Did I? Uh, I'm alive! Well, in a surprise turn of events, it appears we have our victor. The winner of the 74th Hungry Games is... I won! Now that's what I call a bad case of gas! <laughs> no! This can't be happening! There must be a victor! Hey! Hey, President Snowball! What? President Snowball! Over here! Hey! Hey, President Snowball! What? What is it? Mockingjay! What? No! Whoa! That's too bad! President was a really cool guy. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Mockingjay! I really hope I'm not in the sequel. 99 bottles of board on the wall. 99 bottles of board. Take one down, pass it around. 98 bottles of board on the Stop. wall. Stop! Now, we know, we get it. You're bored, okay? Yeah. But don't you ever wonder why we're always bored? Hmm. Nope. Why do you ask? There's gotta be a reason we're bored all the time. Hmm. Somebody wanna grab that? One ring shot coming up. Hello, Orange. Hey, look, it's Knife. What happened to you, Knife? Are you bald now? Or did you lose your edge? <laughs> That's not a knife, Orange. It's a spoon. Or perhaps there is no spoon. Ah! My apologies, I didn't mean to startle you. Wow, Bald Knife is a magician. Hey, hey, pull a rabbit out of your hat, Bald Knife. You've been living in a dream kitchen, Orange. It is called the Fruitrix. All that you see around you is not real. Even Pear? Even Pear. Don't listen to him, Orange. I've always been your best friend. <laughs> Mr. Orange. Whoa! Quick, Orange, you must choose a pill. Oh, pick me, pick me! Take the red pill and you will escape certain death and be transported to the kitchen of the real world. Take the blue pill and you can stay here in the Putrix and be sliced in half by knife. Huh? What about the green pill? <laughs> I taste like boogers. Ah, red pill it is. Ow! He'll be back. How can you be so sure? He is the annoying one. Yep, you're right. Welcome, Orange, to the real kitchen. It's real, all right. Real dirty. <laughs> True, the real kitchen could use some spick and span, but at least we're safe from the fruit tricks and their master. The- Hey! This place has cable! Sweet! Yes, but we only get one channel. Uh, I hope it's not C-SPAN. Behold, the world as it really is. You see, the machines who built the fruit tricks need you and your kind to fuel it. Well, I am pretty gassy. <laughs> Wait a minute. But that means my friends are- are- Hey, hey! Who wants mango shot? No! Don't lose hope now, Orange. There is still something we can do. Although, I don't think you'll like it. What? What can we do? Plug! Huh? Whoa! A massive download of information directly into your cerebral cortex. Everything you'll need to fight the knives and destroy the fruit tricks forever. Whoa! I know. Every knock-knock joke ever! Ugh. I sense a great disturbance in the fruit tricks. Hey, no man! All fruit is but fuel for the machines! Yeah! Oh yeah? Well then get ready for a mega bite! 
Mr. Orange. Any last words? Oh, probably just knock knock. Who is there? The annoying one. one of us, but you'll never defeat 10,000. Uh oh Looks like I'm gonna need a bigger boat! Or better yet, a motorboat! Orange! You did it! You saved us all! Yeah! And I thought it'd be virtually impossible! <laughs> uh. Finally! We're free! Yes. Yes, you are. But tell me, what will you do now with your freedom? Question. I was thinking... 99 bottles of board on the wall! 99 bottles of board! Truly, he is the annoying one. Hey, what's happening? Why is it happening right in the middle of my bubble bath? It's a tornado siren! Quick, turn on the news! An F5 tornado is cutting its way through the city, and it could be headed for the kitchen. With more, we go to pineapple in the field. Thanks, Tom. I'm not really sure I should be out here. Ow! But I guess this is what wins Emmys. What do you see, Pineapple? What's going on? Well, the tornado is super huge. It's changing course at random and... Oh, it appears to be heading toward... Oh. My. Pineapple, what is it? It just took out a knife factory, Tom! Oh, this is bad. I gotta get out of here! Stay strong, Pineapple. We need you covering this tornado. This is no tornado, Tom. It's picked up hundreds, possibly thousands of knives from the factory it just wrecked. We're dealing with a full-blown... Knife! And now, uh, we go to Byron with sports. Uh, thanks, Tom. The Cleveland Rounds, like, suck. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. You heard him. That knife needle could be here any minute. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Everyone relax. We have a tornado seller for this exact type of situation. Whoa, really? Whew, that's a relief. You sound surprised, Orange. Sure am. I thought there was no way we'd have the foresight to make a tornado cellar. I figured we'd blow it for sure. <laughs> Orange, last year we tasked you with building the cellar. Um, what? You didn't build the tornado shelter? Where did all the money we gave you go? Um, definitely not towards these sweet kicks and chains. You don't have feet or a neck. Guys, I hate to break this up, but... Probably a knife, Nato? Nope, 
a Julius Caesar NATO. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. At this point, I kind of wish a knife would hit a stick of TNT. A crane! The knife NATO's dissipating! We made it through! <laughs> oh. Yeah! yeah. Oh, we made it! Oh, oh! Let's celebrate by touching this knife to this TNT! Shall feel the burn of the flexus. What are you doing? You can't eat all that food. Stop it. You should get out and exercise. Stop it. It's just not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank goodness you came! They told me to expect an old priest and a fit priest. Well, when's the fit priest getting here? <laughs> Present and accounted for! So many stairs. <laughs> oh. This is Father Grapefruit, and I'm Father Grandpa Lemon. But you can call me... Papa G! Thank you for coming. It's my boy Tommy. He's not well. He lies in bed all day and says things I don't understand. Ah, these kids today, they got no ambition. Just want to lay around all day napping. Speaking of which... Is... is he okay? Who, Tommy? Yeah, sounds like normal adolescents. Boy... No, I mean... Can you two help my son or not? Have no fear. I'm more than just a priest. I'm a fully ordained flexicist. For almost six weeks now. Wow. Well, I didn't know the church still did that. Well, the Church of Cross, it does. Well, I heard that was a cult. Oh, 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 oh so sorry about that, but uh, dreaming does make me a little gassy. <laughs> oh, that wasn't you. That was my son. Please, please, you have to help him. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, uh, fear also makes me gassy. Should have mentioned that earlier. Great googly moogly! I can smell the presence of enormous evil! Bah, I bet little Tommy's totally a little faker. We'll just scare him straight in. Oh, is that right, Father Grapefruit? That voice, I'd know it anywhere! Oh, that's great! You two already know each other! Small world! Oh, I know Grapefruit inside and out. I've been tempting him his entire life. Beware, Father Grandpa, for we are in the presence of Jucifer, the demonic lord of laziness. Oh, oh, sorry. We were looking for some kid named Tommy, so see you later then. You're not going anywhere. And neither am I. Especially now that I've plumped up Tommy. This guy is more comfy than a beanbag chair. Bad news, chump, because I only came here to chew bubblegum and flexercise. And guess what, buddy? I'm all out of bubblegum. Squat thrust! The power of CrossFit compels you! The power of CrossFit compels you! The power of CrossFit compels you! <laughs> Ooh, is this pea soup? No, shamrock shake. <laughs> and a little bit of fresca. I stand by my ooh. Well, two can play that game, mister! You hit him with the holy vitamin water! Great thinking, Grandpa Father! I, I mean, Father Grandpa! Come on! Can I not get a Papa G up in this mother? Also, shouldn't he be writhing in pain right about now? Man! What a dick move! Now my sheets are all... Oh, they're all squishy! You could, uh, always get up, get a little exercise? No, no, it's fine. Totally cool. I'll, I'll just... I'll just pretend I'm in a broken water bed. You know, for the Lord of Laziness, he's awfully tenacious. Whew. What do you say we take five, huh? What's the matter, Father Grapefruit? Feeling unfit? <laughs> I'm fine! I just get low blood sugar! Get it together, Father Grapefruit! Only you can flexercise this demon! What? I thought we were a team! Oh, team, huh? Now we're a team. You always tell people I'm your spotter. Whatever the heck that is. Ah, if there were only time for a snack, maybe a donut, or some chocolate chip cookies. 
Come to us, Father Grapefruit. We'll make everything better. Well, you know you like that deep dish. Ooh, well, maybe just a nibble. No, no, I don't need you, Cabs. I'm in the prime of my life. Ha! Only prime you've ever known is prime rib. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, he just hit that sweet spot between funny and totally accurate. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, who are you guys? What's happening? And why is my bed all squishy? You did it, Father Grapefruit! The flexor schism worked! You saved Tommy! You, you... Oh. Oh. Uh, must resist the car! Ah, not the stairs! Save my little Tommy! Oh, my little angel! Oh, you. Wait! Who broke my window? That would be my friend. Poor, chubby, and let's be honest, not so bright Father Grapefruit. We will never forget his sacrifice. May his sneakers rest in peace forever. Uh, little help! You guys know I'm not dead, right? Aw, you can almost hear him now, calling out from the great beyond. Go into the light, my son. Go into the light. Just some broken bones. Don't make that a lot of broken bones. Predicting that four, even that five, twisted for the entire Hunt County. Meteorologists still don't know what's causing these sudden storms. Ellen, we've got to go! Daddy? We're urging everyone to get underground immediately, including us. <laughs> we should be safe here. Honey, the door! Stay here. Be careful, Daddy! Don't worry, baby. The odds of a twister actually ripping open a cellar door are... Well, I guess I don't really know what those odds are. Huh. Ah! Daddy! Daddy! Stay with me! Just stay with me! Stay with me, Helen! Stay with me, Helen! Huh? Look out! Ah! Ah! I left the stove on! Down there! That was close! Where were you back there? That was the third time we've almost died this week! One more and I get a free smoothie! Sorry, just the storm and everything. I was thinking about my dad. You can't bring him back, Helen, no matter how many storms you chase. That's not what it's about, Bill. It's about getting to the cause of these twisters, so no more baby carrots have to see their dad sucked away. Look, these storms seem pretty random, but I think this last one established a pattern. See? <laughs> Would you please stop randomly spitting seeds? Okay! I didn't think that would actually work. Hey! You said to stop spitting randomly, so I did. Now I'm aiming them. See? Oh, hey, Orange, would you cut the shenanigans? You're messing with my workout. Fine! Yeah! And can you turn off the blender too? It's freaking me out! Spit any seeds at the blender? Oh, really? Then who did? Seriously, it wasn't me, I swear! Look, he's right! Uh, okay. Uh, that's starting to freak me out, too. Don't worry, I got this. Uh -oh. This is where the next twister should be. Help me with the probes. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're storm chasers. We think there's about to be a tornado in here. What? Inside? Here? Yes. We don't really know what's causing them, but your kitchen is definitely next. Our probes here should tell us why. Hey, we make it through storm number four tonight, and I get that free smoothie. Smoothie? Oh, smoothie, of course. The tornadoes are being caused by malfunctioning blenders. Well, I've been on the fritz lately. Just started on its own all of a sudden. Squash, can you unplug it? <laughs> oh no! It's battery power! Ah! Ah! There's nothing we can do! We have to get somewhere safe! The oven! Steel wall, 
walls, underground. We should be pretty safe in here. The probes are rooted up. If the Twister picks them up, we should have a full readout on it. More data than anyone's ever had before. That's it, we've got it. I can finally analyze an entire Twister. Uh, hey, does it seem a little warm to anybody? My bad, body temperature's still up from my workout. Ah, oh, crap, the oven's on. Well, if I'm gonna get baked, at least I'm getting baked with my friends. I am not getting baked. Let's go! Well, you can't go outside either. Maybe we can ride the storm out before we broil. Doesn't look like it. Computer predicts this one could last a whole hour. We'll be charred crisp by then. Wait, yes, that's it. Maybe we can jam the blender's blades and stop them from spinning. With what? They're built to slice and dice. Game over, man, game over. The probes, they're metal. If we can shoot enough down the cyclone, that should jam the blades. But who can aim them? <laughs> Anyone else got a case of cotton mouth? It's like an oven in here. Well, you just volunteered yourself, Orange. Remember, spin as many of those probes down as you can. You only have a few seconds before the cyclone sucks you down into those blades, too. So be quick. Sounds like a challenge. They don't call me the spitting citrus for nothing. <laughs> Do we do the right thing? No, but it is quieter now. from there. Those twisters kept me spinning in the air for 20 years. But I knew you'd get me down, baby. A family reunion. It's so sweet. I I must have something in my eye. Ah, that's nice. Agreed. They really know how to put the care in carrot, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, what a beautiful day to be out and about, eh, honey? Oh, Daddy, that reminds me. There's a big fun trip I want to go on with my best friend Jenny. Can I go, Dad? Can I go? Uh, I don't know, honey. You're awfully young for that. Trust me when I say I've got a bad feeling about this. But, Daddy, I want to go! Sweetheart. <laughs> honey. I hate you! Ah, fine, you can go. What the heck do I know? I'm only a former secret agent with lots of skills. Yeah! Thank you, Daddy! If you and Mommy ever split up, I want to live with you. Oh, I love you too, baby. Jenny? Baby, baby. Guess who's going with you? Yay. I know! OMG! We're gonna have so much fun! <laughs> oh, you'll always be Daddy's little girl. Ah, they grow up so fast. Bacon? It's Baby Egg. I... I think something's wrong. Oh, I'm sure everything is fine. Hello, baby. Are you okay? Hi, Daddy. Guess what? I just met some scary sausage men who want to take me far, far away. Hold on. I think they want to talk to you. No, baby. Listen to me very carefully. You're about to be... Taken? Yep. It's already happened. Sorry, Daddy. But we gotta get going now. Wait. I don't know who you are or what you want. If it's ransom you're after, I can tell you I have no money. What I do have is a very particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my baby go now, that'll be the end of it. But if you don't, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. Okay, well, good luck. No! What the? That little piggy went to market. <laughs> That little piggy stayed home. That little piggy got roasted. And that little piggy got stoned. Stop! Wait! And this little piggy... Get a nice jump start. Now where's my daughter? 
She's... 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 Ah! The museum! We took her to the museum! That's rather interesting. Because you're about to be history too. Ah! Uh, while everybody else is busy, we're going to steal all these paintings. Keep it down, you idiot. we got to keep this quiet. What the? Baby? Ba ba baby, where's my baby? Huh. Coco! Whoa, dude! I think somebody's trying to rob the museum! Better tell the boss. Well, I'll go check. Oh my lord! Boss, huh? Don't worry, fellas. I'll tell him myself! Oh, uh, sorry. I was just looking for the bathroom. <laughs> what a breathtaking work of art. You know, I could stare at this all day. Hey, baby, where's my baby? Excuse me, who are you? Oh my goodness! Daddy! Oh, thank my lucky stars, baby! Wait, what are you doing here? Does this mean the field trip is canceled? Field trip? You're on a... Oh, a field trip. Oh my god. Do I have egg on my face or what? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Hello. Orange! Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! Holy schnozberries! Why? Well, I just had the strangest experience! I was in a magical, colorful land! Well, you were there, and you were there, and, and you were there! Was I there? No! Ah, oh, poppycock! I never get invited to anybody's dream! But it wasn't a dream! It was real! You gotta believe me! Sure! We believe you, Orange! Call the loony bin! I'm on it! Go ahead, Orange! Tell us about this magical world! Well, it all started when I got caught up in a tornado mixer. <laughs> hey, I can see my house from here. <laughs> but then I accidentally made applesauce out of some mean old witch. And that made everybody real happy. Come on, come on, do the song. Nah, I don't want to do the song. Do the song, Shrimpy. Land sounds pretty eat. <laughs> and it was pretty eat. They gave me a ruby kazoo and sent me out to see the blizzard of Oz about finding a way home. Follow the orange brick road. Follow, follow the, the orange brick road. road. Follow the orange brick road. Follow, 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 follow the orange brick road. He's off to see the blizzard, the wonderful blizzard of Oz. But the trip wasn't easy. The woods were just crawling with danger, like onions and wild silverware. Oh my! <laughs> But before long, I found a friend. Hey there, I'm Pear Crow. Nice to meet you. Oh, God, wow, get away from me! Ah! Man, what I wouldn't give for some arms to keep those crows off me. Come see the blizzard with me. I'll bet he could give you some arms. You think? We're, We're off to see the blizzard, the wonderful blizzard of Oz. And as we went along, we picked up a couple more friends. There was the Tin Mellow who wanted to ask the blizzard for arms too. Because then I could give everyone we met a grapefruit. He wanted arms, too. If I had arms, why, I could wave this truth flag night and day. We nicknamed him the Cowardly Grapefruit. Ah, what was that? Um, that was an ant, dude. It was huge. When we got to the blizzard, he said he'd help on one condition. You must b -b 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 bring the wicked ice queen of the West. <laughs> I get it. Burr, because he's cold. But this ice queen turned out to be more than we bargained for. <laughs> it's her! Run! Why didn't I ask the blizzard for feet? <laughs> this weird old witch had an army of flying monkey bread. Luckily, we were able to get away from the flying monkey bread and got to the evil ice witch's castle. Then we had to get past some Oreo cookie soldiers. Oreo. Oh. Oreo. But in the end, we got that icy witch real good. Well, yeah, you're an ice cube. 
Honestly, I'm surprised you made it this far. So, did everyone get their limbs in the end? No, there was some junk about how we had them inside of us all along. Wait, are you telling me I have a foot inside me as we speak? I guess so, yeah. So that's what was messing with my bowel movements. And all I have to do to get home is blow my kazoo three times? <laughs> so, you glad to be back? Sure am. The whole ordeal taught me something very important. There's no place like home. Wow, that's pretty sappy, dude. No! Home! Huh? Huh? What's going ah! on? Come on, put your backs into it. The sooner we get those nets aboard, the sooner we can all get home. Captain Crunch, did you see that? See what, first plate? Huh, but it was just there. Back to work, men. We've got two more. Captain Crunch! Oh, what now? What in the name of... It's... It's... Oh. My... Lord! Welcome to Thousand Island. I'm Pineapple. Thank you for coming to investigate, Dr. Starfish. Please, call me Dr. Sea Star. Aren't starfish and sea stars the same exact thing? Technically speaking, I'm not a fish. Not yet. Please, take me to the wreckage. It washed ashore last night. We have no idea what could have done this to a ship of that size. I know what it was. It was Gordzilla! Gordzilla? What is that? Don't listen to crazy old coconut. Gordzilla is nothing but an old wives' tale. No, no! I want to hear! Gordzilla is an ancient beast that terrorized our ancestors. It seems he has returned. And he's angry. Tell me then, how do we make this Gordzilla happy? We can do only one thing to appease the mighty Godzilla. We can die. Something massive coming out of the sea. It's... It's... Godzilla. Come, Dr. Sea Star, quickly. <laughs> Oceanographer, do you honestly expect us to believe what you're telling us? Yes, Mr. President! It was a giant sea monster and it was like, ah! And the islanders were like, ah! And the island got all smashed and then the monster was like, peace out. Back to the ocean and we were like, whoa! And then... Hello? Hello? Ah! Dr. Seastar? How did the meeting go? Horribly! They don't believe me! We're all in terrible danger! What's this? It's nothing! It looks like a mechanical fish suit or something. I said it's nothing! It's certainly not a fish suit designed to allow me to the deepest parts of the ocean floor, and I certainly haven't been designing it literally my entire life! Um... okay. Do you feel that? The romantic connection we just forged through forced intimacy? No! That! Quickly! Into the bomb shelter! <laughs> and then the dude was like, it's called Godzilla, and it's huge, and... It breathes fire? Yeah, I said that already? <laughs> Send in the airport! No! Fire breath? Nobody told me he had fire breath! I like your decor. Pineapple. Can I tell you something very, very personal about me? What, that you dedicated your entire life to the unlikely dream of someday becoming a fish? 
Pretty dumb, huh? Uh, not at all. I think it's a... it's a great dream. I suppose none of that really matters now. Or does it? The city! It's in ruins! Someone has to stop Gordzilla! That's impossible! Even the full force of our military was hopeless against it. That's because the military isn't thinking like a fish! Dr. Seastar? I know what I must do. My fish suit is untested, but it's the only way to reach Godzilla deep under the sea where he sleeps. Catching him in the state of rest is our only hope. You need a nuclear warhead to kill that monster, but... But that would mean... I'm not coming back. Oh no! Don't cry for me. I get to go out a fish. You are Godzilla. Gord, bye. Oh no! Godzilla has returned. No, look. Hooray! It was Doctor Sista. Doctor Sista destroyed Godzilla. No, it wasn't Doctor Seastar. It was Dr. Starfish. What is she talking about? Just let it go. <laughs> Orange, you awake? It's ground beef day. Let's go see if ground beef emerges from his meat grinder and sees his shadow. Let's do it to Dude, it! Look out! Whoa. Whoa. Ah. You okay, Orange? Ah. Yeah, I'm all right. Luckily, I fell on my thick skull. <laughs> Who leaves a banana peel laying around like that? Oh, sorry, that's mine. Don't look at me! I'm naked! <laughs> Here he comes, folks! Yeah, it's very hurts! Ground beef, the kitchen wants to know, can we expect nice weather or knife weather? Um, if I had a wager of guess, I'd say... Ugh, there you have it, folks. Knives it is. Now that's one fine cut of beef. <laughs> Dude, that was a terrible joke. Orange, you huh? awake? It's ground beef day. Let's go see if ground beef emerges from his meat grinder and sees his shadow. Um, didn't we just... Let's go. It's almost time. Uh, okay. Orange, look oh! out! Oh! You okay, Orange? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Luckily, I fell on... My thick skull. Uh, sorry, that's mine. Don't look at me, though. I'm naked. Pear, do you ever get deja vu? That naked banana just gave you deja vu? Yeah, I think so. Dude, you're a perv. Ah, it really hurts. Ground beef. The kitchen wants to know. Can we, Can we expect, expect nice weather, weather or knife weather? Or knife weather. Now a knife kills him. Ah! Dude, don't you see what you have? It's not deja vu. It isn't? No, it's just like that super famous movie, Ground Beef Day. You're repeating the same day over and over. I'm not repeating the same day. I'm an orange. <laughs> Dude, that was a terrible joke. Ah, wait, wait a minute. Every time I annoy someone, the day starts over. Orange, you awake? It's- I know, I know, it's Ground Beef Day. Oh, and guess what? What? Chicken butt! Uh... <laughs> Huh? Whoa! It worked! Holy wow! It worked! Orange! You awake? Pear! I'm living the same day over and over again! You mean, just like the movie? Yes! Just like the movie Ground Beef Day! Dude! Think of the possibilities! If you could live the day enough times, think of all the fun you could have! Think of all the good you could accomplish! <gasps> You're right! Orange, you can't eat all that! You'll get super fat! No, I won't! No consequences! And the winning Powerball numbers are... <laughs> if only somebody got here three seconds sooner! Let's do this! There's just one catch. I can't tell a bad joke or else the day starts over. So, just don't tell any bad jokes. Okay, okay! Orange, promise me, no bad jokes! You could change the world if you just keep from telling a bad joke for one day! Whoop! Looks like I gave that banana peel the slip! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Get it? Slip! <laughs> Put your little hand to 
Oh man, I gotta do a better job of not telling bad jokes. Orange, you awake? I'm not awake, I'm an orange. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, okay, pull it together, orange. Orange, you awake? Dude, what's going on? Why are you holding your breath? Okay, well. I'm not we should... awake, I'm an orange. <laughs> uh, terrible joke, dude. I don't care, it's so worth it. So worth it. <laughs> pear share, pear share. Why don't you have any hair, pear? Oh no, he's singing about things he sees again. Grapey grape, grapey grape. So evil like Severus Snape. Midget apple, midget apple. Stop singing! Get him mad and he'll try to grapple. Banana shadow, banana shadow is way taller than midget apple. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's no banana here. Yaha, uh -huh. what do you call that? There hasn't been a banana in the kitchen since. It is I, Dr. Bananas, back from the dead. Oh! And now, with the aid of my Spice Twice Splice Machine, I'll be properly reattached in no time! Hit it, girl! When to become one! <laughs> Whoa! Looks like you're only half off for a limited time! <laughs> if you think that was amazing, I can't wait to show you my Shrinky Dicky Fertilizer Minimizer! Only $15.99.95! Why are there extra number? That's not even a real price! This machine will shrink anything down to 1 100th its original size! <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Looks like he's got banana splits a phrenic. <laughs> Yay, I love banana splits! Are you ready? <laughs> Wait, we didn't say that. Here we go! Whoa, <laughs> Whoa look at me, I'm ripped! Guys! Guys? Awesome, I guess it works. Looks like he wasn't such a half brain after all. <laughs> you mean he shrunk us and now we're tiny? What are you crying about? You should be used to this by now. <laughs> for only... Hey, where'd they go? You shrunk them, dummy. But if they're shrunken, they can't buy my Shrinky Dinky Fertilizer Minimizer for only $15.99.95. No, I shrank them already. I've got better things to do. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Wait, I can't ride it! Marshmallow, it's not a unicorn. It's a giant germ. Jeez, Pear, stop being such a giant germaphobe. <laughs> Whoa! Looks like we better booger out of here! The Biggie Wiggy Fertilizer Maximizer should bring them back to normal. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How do we know it won't kill them like all your other inventions? Good point. I better test it out first. Hey, you! <laughs> You'll be fine! He won't be fine. Oh, great! That guy owed me five bucks! Looks like I had the Biggie Wiggy Fertilizer Maximizer set to explode rather than expand. Why is that even an option? <laughs> that ought to do the trick. Hey, seriously, as a friend, you should see a doctor. Well, 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 looky what we got here. I ain't never seen no crumbs like this before. We're not crumbs, we're fruit. We don't take kindly to your kind around here. Looks like we've walked into a crummy situation. <laughs> get it, crummy? I don't get it. Let's get him. Wait, kill the apple first. <laughs> it's little apple. What's that? It's like an apple, but only more midgety. No, I mean that. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. We're back to normal size. Well, except for Midget Apple. He's still a little small. <laughs> and me. See how good I look? Whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, the fatness returns. I did it. My invention worked. So take that. And it can all be yours for Splendid T-323. I don't know. This whole situation wasn't very appealing. <laughs> hey, where's Marshmallow? Board, 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 board
bored? Yes, but mostly just annoyed. Whew, at least I'm not the only one. <laughs> Does he have an off button? <laughs> anything in 48 extra fat. <laughs> Orange! You're still alive! And you're not evil anymore! Yeah, and what about the media? Don't ask me, I'm a vegetarian! <laughs> hey, let's go pretty! Ah! 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 Oh no, here we go again! see Dr. Bananas anywhere. Forget Dr. Bananas. Where are all the dinosaurs the invitation promised? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I love dinosaurs. How do you know? You've never met a dinosaur. I watched a bunch of Barney when I was little. Littler, you mean, right? <laughs> Greetings, special guests. I couldn't possibly be more excited to show you my latest creation. Real dinosaurs. Yeah, right, dude. Dinosaurs went extinct so long ago, not even Grandpa Lemon remembers them. It's true. Also, uh, I don't really remember last week, so there's that, you know. I understand your skepticism, and I'm excited to squelch it. <laughs> Whoa! Wait a minute. Why is it pink? Yeah, I kind of like it. Looks more like Barney that way. <laughs> All my dinosaurs are pink, you see. They're pink because pigs are pink. Huh. Quickly, to the Jeep. I will explain everything! You see, it's very scientific. I brought the dinosaurs back from extinction by using their DNA. I used some DNA from fossils and filled in the gaps with pig DNA. Why pig? Well, I had a buddy who's a pork chop who was willing to sign the necessary consent forms. So I guess they're not really dinosaurs as much as they're swinosaurs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna have to use that. 
exactly why I asked you to come here, Orange. Your branding skills are fantastic. I need your input before the park opens. Instead of calling it Jurassic Park, why not call it Jurassic Park? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Well, why did you invite the rest of us, Doc? Pear, you know more about science than anyone in the kitchen. I'd love to have your endorsement. Grandpa Lemon, I needed you here because you can inexplicably fly a helicopter. And you, Midget Apple? Well, you... Go ahead! Just say it! You need me here to see if the little kids can ride the rides or not! But that's equally important. <laughs> <laughs> and now, without further ado, welcome to Jurassic Park! pig-like, didn't it? Hey, what's in that mysterious jungle cage over there? Oh, you see, that's where we keep the Velociraptors. You mean the Sausage Raptors? <laughs> <laughs> it gets funnier every time. Aw, oh, man, it's raining! Actually, that's a good thing. That'll really bring the dinos out. They love mud. They are part pig, after all. Sure enough, here comes the Triceratops now. Hey guys, uh, is it just me or does that Triceratops seem way bigger than expected? It's probably just you, Small Fry. <laughs> no, he's right. That's odd. The Triceratops was normal size just a few days ago. But did you take into account that pigs grow super huge in a super short period of time? I did not take that into account. So, basically we're stuck on an island with a bunch of dinosaurs that can grow too big for their own fences. A slight oversight, I admit. Hey, everybody! Let's get a group photo by this lake. Wait, that's no lake. It, it isn't. Ah! Ah! Tyrannosaurus Rex! You mean Tyrannosaurus Short Ribs Rex? <laughs> now is not the time, Orange! Ah! Dinosaurs are stuck on that island and can't get to the mainland. before. Be right there. Yeah. Behold, my latest invention, a real life working time machine. Five more minutes, Mom. Ah, 57. What? Orange, no. Just film me talking about the time machine. Oh, <laughs> you got it, Doc. This is Dr. Bananas here in Spill Valley, ready to show you my first temporal experiment. You can see the time machine behind me here. The key to this whole device is the Smux capacitor, the key to time travel. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, Doc. Let's take this thing for a spin. Yay! Orange, wait. I haven't tested it properly yet. So, you think you can steal our batteries and just disappear? You think I'm an idiot? Huh. Uh, well, um, you see... Ah! Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Huh? Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, my spleen! Uh, if anyone asks, it was his fault! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no
no, no, you just ruined my ride, butthead. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, no, it's Crash Brown. <laughs> You're gonna run away like your little friend here? Like a chicken? I'm not a chicken, I'm an orange. So we got a wise guy here. Tell me, wise guy, how are you gonna fix my car before the big dance? Whoa, whoa, grapefruit, what's that? Mm -hmm. yeah. right. What's that thing he's on? It's a board with wheels. He's an absolute dream. Ew, gross, he looks like your brother. You'll never catch me alive. <laughs> Thanks for the fancy board, butthead. Um, I don't think you want to go that fast, Grapefruit. Shut up. Okay, everyone, for my next trick, I'm going to do a 360 backflip. I stand corrected. <laughs> Stop! Great snot, my invention, it's ruined. There's no time for that. You gotta help me. I don't even know you. What? It's me, your pal Orange from 1985. 1985? You mean my idea for time travel actually works? You bet it works, Doc. I crashed the time machine in town, and I need you to fix it so I can go back. Wait a second. You left a highly sensitive time-altering device from the future out in plain sight 30 years before it should even exist? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Um, guys, you may want to check this out. Ow! Come on. We have to act fast. We're getting this snack to the future. It's all fixed. Guess I'll see you in about 30 years. Um, I wouldn't really count on that. What? Nothing. Okay, just load some new batteries and the Smux capacitor will be ready to go. Batteries? I don't have any batteries. Orange, this machine needs an obscene amount of electricity to actually travel through time. You're telling me you didn't bring a backup? Nope. Oh, wait, I got an idea. <laughs> okay, Doc, now climb to the top of that ladder. Orange, this is highly irregular. What exactly is your idea here? Don't worry about that, Doc. Just don't move a muscle. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Orange, you only get one shot. Hey, hey, Dr. Banana. What? Lightning bolt. Oh, now I see what he's doing. So, you think you can steal our batteries and just disappear? You think I'm an idiot? Huh. Oh, well, um, you see... Woohoo! I'm back! I'm back! Or you saved me! Sure did! And I beat up Grapefruit, and there was a storm, and... Yes, yes, I remember now. I sent you back when you... Wait. I sent you back to the future, and you vaporized me. Sure did! 30 years before I would actually invent the time machine, which you just used. Yeah. What's wrong with that? doing here? I sure do appreciate you boys volunteering to look after my remarkably creepy hotel. Are you kidding? This place is amazing! <laughs> yeah, should be terrifying. I'm with Pear! Little scared! Uh, hey, no jokes! Ah, come on guys! This place is just what I need to finish my novel, The Grape Gatsby! Well, that's a coinky dink. My last caretaker was a grape. Uh, was? Yes, but by the end of the first week, he'd shriveled into something else entirely. What? Like a raisin? Worse. A raisin! <laughs> <laughs> FYI, the dining room is wicked haunted, and you probably want to steer clear of it altogether. Ah! Come on now, Crazen, let's get you to the nut house. Later, fellas. <laughs> I'm having second thoughts. Orange, too. Well, I think he already left. Hey! Hey, guys! Hey! You wouldn't believe the size of this dining room. Gulp? Uh, I'm gonna go with double gulp. So far, so good. We're one day in and nobody's gone crazy. Speak for yourself. All work and no play make Jack a doll toy. All work and no play make Jack a doll toy. <laughs> Shouldn't you be typing your novel? Type? Well, I don't have any hands. That's why I'm dictating it. Siri, read chapter one back to me. All work and no play makes Jack a doll toy. <laughs> All work and no play makes Jack a doll Riding my three-wheeler, riding along. Riding through the hallway as I make up this song. Come play with us. Whoa! Hey, where'd 
they go? Come, Come play, play with, with us, midget, midget apple. apple. <laughs> oh, I prefer little apple. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Okay, look. I'm going to open my eyes now, and I want both of you to be gone. Okay? Okay? Come play with us. <laughs> Dude, I'm a little worried about Midget Apple. Just a little? <laughs> no, seriously, take a look. Red rum? Well, I don't get it. Hello, that's murder spelled backwards. Um, actually, I wrote that. I'm literally a bottle of red rum. Uh, okay. But why write it on the wall? Because I got an attitude problem, man. Any more brain busters? Actually, yeah. Why are you here? Oh, that's because I'm a ghost, and if you can see me, that means you're going insane. Dude, look at this picture. Hey, those are the twin cops I met. And there's Red Rum. And is that the Kool-Aid man? Oh, it gets weirder. Look at the back row. Whoa, well, that's us. Uh, do you hear that? Huh? Hear what? Dent. <laughs> uh, uh, we've been running all day from Orange. Well, I can't take it anymore. There, the elevator. We have to get to it before it. It's closing. Oh no! Oh no! Hello! <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah! Oh no! And that's pretty much the end of it. Little Apple and I barely made it out in one piece. Well, you guys seem like you're doing all right now. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like we'll never be the same. Tell me about it. This is the worst case of Kool-Aid tongue I've ever had. <laughs> uh, <laughs> A toast to Orange, the most annoying fruit in the kitchen. A toast? I didn't agree to this. Hey! Aw, thanks you guys, I try. <laughs> Merry oh. Christmas, everyone! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Orange! Oh, hear that? You know what they say. Every time a bell rings, an angel clips its wings. That's right. Wait, 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 wait. I thought it was gets its wings. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Oh no, that sounds awfully pleasant by comparison, but come here, you should see this. Hey, an angel food cake. Ah! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah, you do not want to be an angel food cake around Christmas time. It's a bloodbath out there. Well, buckle up, because the clock tower is about to strike 12. Ah! 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 understand why this is happening. Why are the knives summoned by bells? Excuse me, coming through, folks. Would you knock that off? Ow. <laughs> hey, bicyclists have a right to the road, too, you carbon-spewing earth murderer. Shut up, Granola! Well, Merry Christmas to you, too. Guys, we need to stop these bells from ringing. hey -oh, did I hear someone call for bell delivery? No! We want to get rid of the bells! Oh, so uh, just to be clear, you do not want this crate full of uh, 1,000 bells? No! All righty then, let me just uh, take this back to the old hermit. Oh, 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 whoopsie! Ah! Okay, enough with the bells! Innocent angel food cakes are getting maimed out there left and right! Well, that's terrible! And on Christmas? Seems like we could use a little holiday cheer. Yeah, you know what? Not a bad idea, Orange, you're right. It's Christmas, and I, I should be looking at what's right in the world instead of focusing on everything that's wrong. Glad to hear it. And in the spirit of Christmas, the kitchen's third grade class has prepared a program. I think you'll all enjoy it. Come on, Pear, get in the Christmas spirit. How could you expect me to do that when angel food cake crumbs are literally a 
obscuring the window glass. Excuse me. Instead of thinking about bad things, think of all the presents you're getting. Yay! Oh, that reminds me. It's time to open a present. Which one to go with? Hmm. Pick the long one. Pick the tall one. Yay! I think I'm going to go with the one that looks like a gigantic bell. No! <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to go with this huge one over here. Oh, thank goodness. What is it, Orange? Yeah, what'd you get? It's... It's a crate full of a thousand bells! What? Oh, it's just what I wanted. Thanks, guys. Oh, this will give me an excuse to use my new forklift that I'm really bad at driving. Burp, 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 burp. Whoopsie! No! Ah! Yeah! Why are there so many bells at Christmas time? Well, it's 